Let's build an airport. Hi YouTube. Welcome to Let's Fly VFR. Hi, my name's Gunny. Well, here's some examples of airports that I've recently built. This is Gawler version 2. I've just put some new hangars in here. I found something that looks very much like the actual hangars. We've done the clubhouses so that's pretty exciting it's looking really accurate now here's old dinga this is one we just flew down to recently and this one i've been working on i'm pretty happy with it but i'm sure we can find some better hangars that maybe have some open doors would be better so we can have some aircraft in them and then we have gulwa again gulwa is a fairly new one i've been working on and uh, hoping to get a little better but it's pretty good it's pretty representative of what's actually there uh, from all the photographs and from my trips down there when i've actually flown down there in my jabaroo so let's see how to do it welcome youtube and today i'm going to have a look at overlay editor for you this program allows you to build your own free scenery and uh, it allows you to build your airports uh, because we know there are still quite a few uh, especially the country airports and things that don't actually have buildings if you're flying over at a height and you've got your uh, photo scenery in place then they look they look fine but if you want to land at them you find that they're very flat and boring when you arrive so this program allows you to do that now if you want to use this program uh, it's free to download and uh, I'll do my best to put a link down the bottom. And this one is actually a little hard to, to find because the creator has it uh, in his signature. So I'll have a look and see if I can find one of those for you and put that down the link in the bottom. Um, but you need a load of libraries. And here's the ones that I currently have. Again, these are all free guys. So these are very easy to get hold of. And there's a lot more libraries than this uh, available on xplane.org. So register, download, and get building. Now, there is an alternate, World Editor. World Editor doesn't require all these libraries, if I, my understanding is correct. Um, and the, the, the X-Plane portal as well, you can go there. I think they're actually one in the same. Um, I haven't used that because I found this so simple. And so that's what we'll have a look at today. So let's have a look at what's up the top here. We have a new scenery package, open scenery packages, and um, this shows Adelaide International, which I have, uh, Chiang Rai in Thailand, which is where I live currently, and uh, you can go through here, I've got Gawler, Glenelg has been an add-on in there, uh, Gulwa, anything with a V1, uh, 1.0, are ones that uh, I've put together, so you got that there if you want to save that's there you can import objects from another package something I've not done yet have needed to do that uh, default sceneries this button here will turn green and this will allow you to place objects I'm not sure if you can see it but there's a little red dot right in the middle of this screen and wherever that little red dot is that's where the object that you've selected will get placed in the scene that you're looking at this one's for adding notes so if you have a a, a, a a forest which you can have you know you can download it and it'll just be a square in your screen you can modify that around you can grab the points in the corner and move that around and with this one um, if you need more points to shape it because you don't just want a simple square which is pretty common um, then you can just click on one point in the corner and then normally after that as you click this each time there'll be a new little node we'll put there and then you can grab that and drag it around as you would expect um, you can do curves as well um, you have this one is delete objects but you can use key commands as well um, delete will delete anything that's highlighted you can use the home the end page up and page down to rotate the scene and to tilt the scene so you can be more above or you can come down and look at it at a lower aspect as well. 
um, cutting and pasting all pretty standard stuff here um, you can adjust your background image there's a selection of different background images that you can use um, the one I've got at the moment uh, that I've been using is just the Bing one uh, you can see the, the Bing down the bottom here of the screen um, for me that's the most modern one the uh, Adel the Adelaide Soaring Club um, went through some major changes a year a few years back now and um, they lost some of the end of the runway and had to relocate all their uh, clubhouses to where the, they are now uh, they were previously right at the far end um, of the airport but they had a four-lane highway come through so they lost the at that end so that's fine but the other scenery pictures that go the background pictures show it as it was not as it is now so and this is the one that you will need mostly is to find the new airport if you're looking to build something you can just scroll through here and you can see lots here you may recognize some you may not note that it starts out with a H here first uh, and then as you go through you can get into uh, airports through here so you can just scroll through and uh, find uh, anything that you're looking for but I'm not going to do this today you just click and bang and it would come up as a, a bare airport well what we might do is, is I'll find Gawler because Gawler will still be here as a, as a basic airport and um, so it's G-A-W roll back a little bit okay and then we'll see it as it is before we've started to modify it a in well this is a bit slow isn't it G A Y Ooh, I think I need more glasses oh there we go there we go so let's load that this will take a moment just to bring in the terrain and, and objects around it and I guess it's a good thing you can see what it starts out at and what it is I'll load up the uh, the modified version in a moment and we'll look at that so this is where the airport used to be not here it used to run all the way through down here but you can see we've got the highway that comes through and out there so that's a relatively new addition to the area um, the farming lands and stuff here now if you look at that and I'll scroll down you can see that it's it's flat isn't it and the other thing with this is the uh, scenery uh, does have a fault in it as well and this is from the uh, photo generated scenery there is actually three sections for some reason that didn't get any data or four sections here as you can see so I've put some land uh, over the top of it and hopefully at some stage that'll get corrected it is a minor thing it's a bit annoying but um, can't do much about it for the moment so we have a river all these sorts of things we have sporting fields now you can grab and move by using your mouse center button or your scroll wheel and you can drag the map around and the one other thing I would say is also because you can zoom out and we have the mountains along here um, if there are things that you need to add that are out here or out here or over here or over here add them they'll all be connected to that one particular file here we have Edinburgh Air, Air Force Base down there which I'm not touching at the moment but we can come back in here and we'll get back so that's where it is now now let's go ahead and we'll open up my scenery package for Gawler which should take a little less time call it 1.0 and let's load that instead and what you'll see here is all the hangars and aircraft and stuff that have already been populated onto this and I'll just show you how you can grab the move around because that's something I do as well um, if I do a video and we take off and we go somewhere and there's a number of planes and gliders around I'll actually move them around now and again just to make it a little bit more of a living airport and one day you'll come down and there'll be no gliders here and the next day there might be gliders we have our little tractor that I have running around here that's flashing light uh, these 
sporting grounds ended up with trees and stuff on them which isn't what you need so um, you can see that so let me deal with that first so if you need exclusions here they are so if you want to stop something happening at a particular point whether it's beaches or sides or forests or something then these little green little red squares that I've put around here stops trees coming up in that sporting ground and I've put them on a few here uh, this one here now you can see what it's come up here it's come up in open scenery x forests uh, wood wetland and you can see the additional points that um, I've added by just clicking on this tool here now I'll just click on one there we go now if you're watching that I'll click and you'll see a new one appear so that one you can grab and you can drag it wherever you want it to go you might want to bring that in a little bit so let's leave that there okay so let's move across now coming out some things are very important here um, I've again added uh, some little forest areas and stuff which are prominent and uh, good features when we're doing our flying I've added down here we have a number of glass houses because glass houses are quite prominent in the area as well we have some farming land and I've put buildings and you can see as I click on the buildings come up so you can see which buildings I've used there um, if you do happen to download this package and it is available I'll leave it in the uh, description below if you would like this one if you're going to fly around in uh, in South Australia then you can uh, download it and you're welcome to modify and change it and if you happen to find things uh, that are a little bit more accurate because there's a couple of small issues with this one at the moment so like I've got individual trees over here and we have a weather sock there and we have our gliders so if I click on the glider you can see it's that's what it is and we can grab that and move it around but I've put that one up behind a, a Cessna at the moment so let's rotate down so you can see we actually have buildings there we don't we don't just have pictures on the ground it's not just photo scenery so I'll scroll back up again using our page up so page up page down and I'll use our end and you can rotate around and then we'll rotate back down again just scrolling down and you can use your arrow keys to move left and right um, the up and down does that it makes you go up and down so if you want to get a little bit closer it's uh, we have some W's which will move things around so we have a, a glider over here let's put him down the bottom here just off to one side because that's a very common place as well most often our gliders will be parked down this end or generally down this end uh, when they have flight, flight training so you have W uh, E and Q I think it is to rotate things and again it's that little red dot it gets a bit hard to see at times we have a tractor and we have that one there and that's animated as well so as we're moving around you will uh, you will see it has a re reaction to whatever the winds doing at the, on a given day we have some caravans and we've got cars now I have an issue with this at the moment these don't show up but there's some buildings attached to this one I believe that are showing up for some reason so um, have to work out how to, what's actually going on there but we've got people hangar people in here Ooh, kind of clicking on the people okay it's not playing okay we've got aircraft over here now you can change the taxiway so I've put some texture here and um, we've got a fuel pumps on there and they're in, all in the right places the only difference really is that these are a little bit smaller and a control Z will put it back where I've just moved it um, and they're a little bit more angled but really it's so simple just decide where you want something so we've got a new building there I'll just move it down if I hit the plus button there we go and if we use E it'll rotate on its center 
Some of these objects are animated, so the hangar doors will open and close and all sorts of things. And if you don't want it, just hit the delete button and away it goes. So it's all really simple. Once you've uh, done it, you can save it or you can create a new package and give it a name and all the objects that are in here will then be saved and uh, will be added to your package as well. Now you might, well, you probably can't see it, but you can actually have flying objects as well. Here we have a, um, a glider sitting at, uh, it doesn't give me an altitude, but here you can add hang gliders at different altitudes as well and you can just play, place them randomly in the scene so that there's just other aircraft so other than your normal GA aircraft that uh, flying around with the next plane um, you can add your own as well so um, tennis tennis nets pools the whole thing um, we do l lose out a little bit on Australian style uh, buildings but a lot of these are European or US based buildings so um, if someone's out there making some objects for Australia, that would be pretty awesome because at the moment we don't seem to have a great deal for that. So, And just be creative when you're building these things. A lot of these things are uh, a number of buildings joined together. If I click on that one, that is a solid one. That I know is a solid one. That's a solid one. Um, some of the longer ones I use one of the small buildings and I'll use a number of them and, and make the building longer. There we go, there's, a good, there's an example. So that's actually two, three pieces joined together. So it gives me some semblance, semblance of a building. Um, now, and when you're flying over in this sort of altitude or so, um, they look fine. And these buildings here are all your photorealistic buildings. Um, I haven't chosen to, to put anything out there because you'd be doing it forever. And also, the amount of objects you have in a particular scene will affect your frame rates as well. So, that's Overlay Editor, guys. Now, the only thing you have to do is save it. It'll save into your uh, X-Plane Customer Scenery folder. You'll require to start X-Plane just to the beginning screen, go back out and then go and grab it because it'll be sitting at the top of your uh, any file again. Okay, so you need to go and move it again. So what I'll do is I'll close this down because I don't need it. Uh, we'll go with no for now because I know where everything is. I know that's all fine. We go down here. We go to our C. We go to our explain directory. We go to our custom scenery then we have our scenery packs in your file. Again, this one you need to organize. Every time you put something in, it puts it at the top. So we've got Susta Custom Scenery Caller. Now if you had modified or changed or added uh, an, ortho, an ortho file, your photo scenery, it will generally land at the top here and you need to grab it and move it down. If you get a uh, scenery, new scenery library and you install that, your custom scenery folder um, again it will set up here and the ordering is important so you need to have your bones or your mesh and I haven't got a mesh sitting at the bottom of mine so we will use the custom one that comes with or the, the default one but if you there are a number of uh, maybe better detailed meshes out there so the mesh would go first because that's your bones and this is your skin goes over the top of the bones and then this is the uh, bits that go on top of the skin okay so you need all your libraries that so will get injected into here and then your airports as you can see these are the airports that I've done so far Gawler, Parafield, Jamestown, Mildura uh, global airports so that's just all your globals and uh, I do have a couple of other ones so they must be hiding uh, in the wrong place here but for the moment I'm just going to leave those but that's your file guys so once you get that all organized and there are plenty of tutorials that will show you where to put everything and how to do it as well this is just more a quick overview but you really don't need any more if you can you've seen what we've done you've seen what I've done with the objects how to manage them manipulate them save them and where to put them 
you will be ready to create your own scenery or modify scenery um, that's already been created. So we'll close that down, close that down, and I will say thank you for watching the watching my video. Hope you have a really great day. Thanks for watching and visiting Let's Fly VFR, and I will catch you very soon in a new video. Catch you soon. Thank <laughs> you.